Hey, Michael, just want you guys to know, it's done. It's really done. So I'm going to start the engine a little bit here for you guys. I want you guys to take a view. Up top, down low, it's really nice. We got the mirrors adjusted, everything. I got two minutes of recording left on this. Uh, it's just want you guys to know I detailed everything. Uh, well, not detailed, just pretty much <laughs> put the tire rub where the tire rub is. I sprayed some more of that little tire. So tomorrow all we gotta do is just check the oil and um, put the decompression tube. Okay, let's fire it up and see how it looks. You guys are coming over here to see the mirror on this side, there I am. You got my head, you got my arm, underarms. On this side here, same thing. See that? The mirrors are adjusted just fine. You got a cup holder here. Fancy cup holder. Well, it says leveled there. Oh, oh yeah, you can flip it any way you want to. So we can go back this way, there we go. We got the ram mount. That way it says level here. You can put the rubber band, the tie straps right here to hook everything on. Let's go and fire this guy up. Okay, hold down the brake lever, hit the start button. Fire purrs like a kid, one little quick push. We got our installed our battery reading right there, 2.9 volts. We can charge our phone at the same time as a magnet charger. We can put it here in the RAM mount. Bam. Okay, let's check out the headlights. This is the regular, it's gonna come on shortly. Bam, see? <laughs> Never, oh, look at how bright that is already. You guys see that reflection? Crazy, and that's not even high beam yet. So, that's pretty much your regular beam. Here's our high beam. When you see, when you, I see you push the high beam, see there, it indicates just perfectly. Now I'm gonna do a signal, right signal, so you guys turn at the same time. This is our high beam. Actually, the high beam looks actually a little lower, but it spreads out more. Okay, it's gonna end soon. Just wanna share with you guys. There you go. Hit the brake lever. I record a little bit kind of vertical right now because it's on the charger. I have 1% and it's charging while it's still allowing me to do this. Okay, I'm at 13 volts. If you notice here, I can raid my engine. Here we go. Uh-oh. Gotta get back on the charger. If it goes off the charger for less than 30 seconds, the phone is dead. So you can see here. I really want to get on here, so I want to show you this. Check this out. Okay, look at my neighbor's uh, BM, okay? I'm going to hit, this is regular driving light. This is a high beam right here. Look at that. Look at that. That's really want to test it out right there. I got about one minute left of recording. So I just want to share that with you guys. You can see my gauge cluster here. High beam is not on. You see how it covers more of this kind of view? Almost like a bat symbol. Then it comes over there, the bat goes and devour. Look at that, it looks like daylight. Isn't that amazing? Headlight works amazing. Look at that, unbelievable. Wow, um, this is Hikara headlights again. They're $89 for a pair. And I only had to put one uh, one side in there. I didn't have to use the other pair. So I have another pair as a backup. But it was so easy to install, you guys seen it. It was just the harness part. So I noticed that my RPM, working everything, I noticed it starts wanting to move me at about, yeah, <laughs> at about 2,500, that's when the scooter's forced to move. So I want to see what I, what I can do here. I'm going to put this on the ram mount. You guys are left on the charger sorter. Oh man, it's vibrating like crazy. All right, so it's not going to do that good. So I just want to kill and end it right now. Michael from NCY Store, I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. And here it goes again, last thing, high beam, bam. Woo! Switching back off.